side, another round of applause for Nicholas Weber. All right. We just have a couple more speakers left, uh, one more speaker in a panel. So next up, our last solo speaker of the day, Mr. Ricardo, the tech lead at Desmos. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Ricardo. I'm the tech lead at Desmos. And today we're going to talk about democratizing social networks. So before we even begin and see what this actually means, we have to cover one important thing, which is the state of current social networks. So as of 20 and 20, social networks had a lot of users. Actually, there were 3.6 billion users of different social networks. And you can see them here, like Facebook had 2.8 billions, uh, WhatsApp had 2 billions, Twitter and Reddit, 400 millions. And this number is projected to augment in the future. Like we are supposed to have 4.4 billion users in just five years. That's a 22% increase in the span of five years. And we asked ourselves at Desmos, are all those users using social networks safely? Like, if you are part of any of these social networks, are you exposed to any risk? And the answer is short, and it's yes. Actually, social networks come with different risks. The first is leaked privacy. In 2020, we have seen 267 million Facebook profiles being leaked. And this means that all their private information were publicly available on dark web. So this means all your private data, all your address, and everything. And we also had 500,000 Zoom accounts for sale in the same year. Also, you are exposed to censorship risks, which means that centralized social networks are allowed to delete your content, not because maybe it's offensive or any other thing, but just because they think that their content is not suitable for the advertisers. So if, for example, some advertisers target Instagram and your content is not suitable for such advertisers, they will delete your content and you cannot appeal to a deleted content on Instagram right now. Like you can only appeal if your content was deleted for copyright issues, but if your content was not deleted for copyright issues, you cannot appeal and it's gone forever. And also you are risk, you're at risk of discrimination. In 2019, the US Equal Employment Opportunity Commission found out that some US agencies were using job posts on Instagram, Facebook, and other social networks to discriminate against women and elderly workers. And how they did this, they simply didn't show these jobs to those people because on centralized social network, you can be targeted by your age, by your gender, by your uh, religious or anything else. And this causes discrimination. So are there any ways that we can solve this? And the answer is yes. And that's how Desmos is born. Desmos is a protocol to build decentralized social networks. And watch out for one thing. Desmos is a protocol. It's not a single social network, which means that on Desmos, you can build different social networks. And all of them will have these features in, uh, by default. So anonymity on Desmos social networks, you will not be required to input your private data, which means that no one can discriminate you because you are women or maybe because uh, you are of any kind of uh, religious uh, thing. So they cannot discriminate and they can also not leak your data because you are not providing us with your data. And also, it's important that all social networks on Desmos will be decentralized. And this makes it impossible for people to censor you. And we also believe that decentralization is a way for people to have a ownership, a feel of ownership of the social network they are using. If they are not only using the social network, but they are also part of the social network because 
they hold the token that allows the social network to work, they will use the social network in a different way, maybe a better way. So how things will work on Desmos? This is how. We will have a single, and we actually have, because Desmos is already live, it's a single protocol governance token, which is DSM. And on top of Desmos, everyone will be able to create its own social network. So on the top left, you can see MC, which is actually Mooncake, which was our testnet application. And Mooncake, it's a social network built on top of Desmos, and it can have its own custom token with its own custom tokenomics. Thanks to Coswasm, we are going to provide social network developers with the ability to create their own tokens and their own tokenomics. And all the tokens on, of the social networks built on top of Desmos will be able to be exchanged between one another and we all revolve around DSM. So there is only one problem, right? Like if you have many social networks, you will need many accounts and people will be tired of many accounts or will you? Actually, it turns out that this is not necessary. It's not necessary for you to have multiple accounts if you are using multiple social networks. And how are we going to do this? We have created the Desmos profile, which is a single unique profile that you need to register when you join the Desmos and you can use it on every social network. And what are the important features of this profile? Well, first of all, you can link it with your existing centralized social network accounts. And why is this important? Because in the blockchain space, everyone can steal your identity. Since everyone is anonymous, there is no way for you to prove that you are someone and someone else is not you. So how are we going to do this? Well, actually, we use band protocol and we are able to link the Desmos profile to your centralizer social network accounts without requiring you to log in or do anything inside Desmos. So if you are anonymous on Twitter or GitHub or Discord or whatever, you will be anonymous on Desmos. Your identity will not be uh, verified or will not, like simply we will link it together and people will be able to see that there is a link between those two accounts. Also, we are able to connect it with any other chain. This does not only include Cosmos chain, but it also includes everything else. So if you have a Desmos profile and you want to prove that you are someone on another chain, you can do it right now. It's very, very easy. It's just a simple command line. You put it there and it's there. If you want to unlink it, maybe in the future because you do not want to be linked together uh, again, then you can do it right now. And the Desmos profile will be used for two different things. The first is as a single sign-on for the apps and social networks built on Desmos. So once you create your Desmos profile, you can log in into any social network built on Desmos with the same profile and completely anonymous. And the second one is to prevent identity theft. Because right now on Cosmos, for example, inside the validator list on the Cosmos Hub, it is possible for validators to steal other validators' identity. They just have to copy your description, your uh, key base account, which is publicly available, and they are the exact same person because there is no way for you to tell that you are a validator or another. So this is an example of a Desmos profile that is already available inside our testnet. And as you can see, it's already linked with different things. Like this person has linked their Cosmos account, their Discord account, their GitHub, Osmosis, and Twitch. So we can make sure that when we are looking at these user details, this pe person is the same that he actually tells he is. Because he has linked all those things, and these things are proven to be verified thanks to band protocol and other ways. And the Desmos profile is right now already available on all big deeper 2.0 instances that we are delivering. So on the left, you can see a, a, the same validator profile on different chains. You can see the Bitcan, the Desmos, and the eMoney chain. And as you can see, the details are always the same. 
So the same validator will look the same across all explorers. And this is particularly important for delegators so that they know that a single validator is always who they claim they to be. And on the right, you can see different accounts for different delegators, each one having their own description, biography, profile picture, and as you can see, they are all completely anonymous. We do not ask for any data. So, how do you get started and how do you create your Desmos profile? Well, there are actually three different ways. The first one is the Desmos Profile Manager application, which is available on both iOS and Android starting from uh, now, and you can download it going to the dpm.desmos.network. Actually, we have like we was supposed to have it online by now, but since we rely on the Google Play Store and iOS Store to publish it, and they haven't reviewed it yet, uh, you cannot download it, but it should be out in the next days. The second is going to Forbolex, which is our own staking platform, and it's available on both Chrome and Brave browsers. You can access it also using our Desmos Ledger application, so you have all the keys in your control, and the website is x.forbo.com. And the third way is GoFindMe, which is actually the first Desmos hub that a user of our community has developed on top of Desmos, and it supports both Kepler, Wallet Connect, and also the Ledger to log in. And you cre can create the Desmos profile. But there is actually one problem with the whole thing. As we have said before, Everything revolves around D, uh, DSM, which is the staking token, and also the fee token. And how do I get DSM? Well, turns out that some people in the past weeks have tried to figure this out, and some of them actually made it. So let me show you an example, and let's see if you can guess how you will be able to get some DSM. Do you think, do you have any clue? Well, actually, we are going to have a DSM fair drop starting from now. So, everyone who is a staker of any of this chain will be able to get their DSM. So we go from Adam, Osmosis, Juno, Terra, Crypto.com, Akash, Ben, Litecoin, Region, Kava, and eMoney. If you are a staker of any of these chains, you will be able to claim your DSM starting from now. And you will be able to check the availability of your claim and how large it is on the website airdrop.desmos.network. We will be starting the airdrop from November 20, uh, 25th, but in the meantime, you can claim how large the airdrop will be. And we will have boosts for liquidity provider on Osmosis and for forward stakers. So if you are a staker on any of this chain to forward validator and or you are a liquidity provider on Osmosis, you will get more DSM. And on the other hand, if you are a delegator to any 0% commission validator or any exchange validator, you will get less. You, we will not exclude you like some other projects did, but you will just get less. This is a way to prevent people that only want money, and, but at the same time give them a chance to enter the Desmos. And to claim the full airdrop, you will be required to only do one thing, so that you can, can get started into the Desmos system, and it's to create a Desmos profile and link it to the different accounts that you have used to stake your tokens. So you create your Desmos profile, you have staked on Terra, you connect your Terra account, and you get the DSM. It's as easy as that. And the total amount will be 21 million, which is 21% 20%, of the Genesis supply. So the other question that we got a lot from the community is when Osmosis, when do you go public? Your mainnet has been running for months. Like we launched at the end of August and we had private sales in the years before. So when are you actually going to be live? Where are you having this DSM token be listed? And the answer is we are going to do this very, very soon. Our latest target is early 2022. 
which means the first month of 2022, but if we can make it, we will be able to do this even before. So if you are not eligible to get a DSM airdrop, you will still be able to get DSM and start your journey into decentralized social networks starting in the next months. So that's all. I'll keep it very short because we are very, very tight on schedule. Uh, my name is Ben Ricardo Montagnin. I'm the tech lead at Desmos. You can reach me here. If you want to know more about Desmos, you can visit our website. You can join our Discord if you want to connect to us. And you can also follow us on pretty much any social network with the same tag, which is at Desmos Network. So if you see our, around the conference, we have bright orange t-shirts, so we're pretty easy to spot. You can stop us, say hi, ask us any questions. And of course, if you have any questions right now, I will be more than glad to take them. Thank you very much.